Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here with a new Firewall Zero Hour video. This video is going to be looking at the new update 1.08, which included 1.07 in case you were wondering where that one went, as well as DLC number 2. So I streamed the game last night after the patch released to test it out and I kept streaming until after midnight when the DLC number 2 content unlocked so I could test it out, test out the new weapons and contractor and there's a few things I want to talk about and kind of do like an overview of this whole entire patch slash updates. So let's just hop right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is that there is no new map as part of DLC number two. I thought there was going to be based on that screen in the teaser trailer that looked like a map, but no. And I want to apologize if I got your hopes up for that. So sorry about that lads and ladies. But while I was streaming last night and we were chatting about the map, I was talking to some of the viewers who were watching, Hess Barber popped in into the chats and he told us that a new map will be coming soon and that it's coming along nicely I think he said or well I'm paraphrasing that don't quote me on that exactly but he definitely said that the new map will be coming soon and based on what Damon said in the community updates number 8 on Friday where he stated that the team will be working on what's already been released until the holidays we probably won't see the new map until 2019, but hopefully it will be early 2019. So the next thing I want to talk about are the new guns. So we got three new guns in total, and they are the FAMAS, which is called, I think, the G6 Commando in the game, the P90, which I believe is called the OR90, I think, and then there's the Spitfire. Now the FAMAS is a very cool assault rifle. It has a pretty iconic look to us, and from what I've played in the stream last night, performs quite well and it costs around 40,000 crypto so not real money all these weapons are free you just use your in-game crypto so the customization for the FAMAS is a bit limited however as you can't add utility or foregrips I think that's based on the design of it so next up then is the P90 another iconic looking weapon that you can kind of identify just from looking at its unique silhouette like I wouldn't be able to do that for nearly any other gun except for these two and maybe the AK-47 so I think the P90 is probably my favorite new gun it has a really high rate of fire and has a very manageable recoil, well, at least with Odin or the Iceman skill. And it's just badass, really. This one also costs around the 40,000 mark, and like the FAMAS, it has limited customization thanks to its design, so no utility, no foregrip. Finally, you have the Spitfire, which I didn't get to try out myself because I actually ran out of crypto. It costs 24,000 crypto. And it's a four round burst also pistol or maybe SMG. I'm not too sure on how it's officially classified. But I do know that it's a primary weapon. So don't expect to be able to use it as a sidearm. The Spitfire looks quite sexy I will say. And according to my teammates it has a high stopping power up close. And you just have to get used to that four round burst. All in all the new weapons I think are a great success. I think you'll all enjoy them. If not find yourself a new main weapon amongst the three. And if you want to be able to afford all of them you're going to need to have like a bit more than maybe a hundred thousand crypto saved up so if you got that kind of cash you're good to go i was level 41 and i was able to access all three i'm not a hundred percent on what levels you need to be to unlock them all but for me at 41 it was enough to be able to get access to all of them now let's talk about the new contractor nash who is actually israeli and her skill binary so unlike the weapons, if you want to play as Nash, you actually have to spend some real life money. I think it was 4.99 euro I paid last night. However, her skill binary can be unlocked by anybody, so you don't need to buy Nash to get her skill. So as long as you are level 45, you can buy binary with in-game currency and you have no need to buy Nash. I think this was the right choice for First Contact Entertainment. This way, there's nothing paid to win at Bowser's. As for the skill itself, it allows you to carry two C4 charges, as we already talked about. But keep in mind, you have to plant them, then blow, then plant, then blow. So you can't actually have two charges active at the same time. You have to explode the first one before you can use the second one. So those of you who are worried that there be just C4s fucking all over the all over the map, it's not going to be that extreme. And when I was playing as Nash, I often didn't get a chance to even use my second C4. But with more practice, I'm sure I would have. To be honest, I was so distracted with my new weapons that I, I forgot about Nash half the time. So next up, let's talk a bit about some surprise cosmetics. In particular, they added three free trinkets that I wasn't expecting at all. 
Now one of them is called Little Skip, which is like a mini figurine of Skip. You have to download that one from the PS Store as long as you have PS Plus, that is free for you. There are two more trinkets that were just added in the updates. One of them is a snowflake, the other is a tea bag, and the tea bag is an instant classic if you ask me. So those two were a nice free surprise. Now there's also some other paid cosmetic skins and camouflages that came out, but there's not much to say about them, you know, they're, they're camouflage skins, you know, they're pretty cool. So check them out in your own time, you know, I'm sure you like them. But of course, there's no gameplay benefit to using them, so you know, it's not, not too important. So let me move on to some of the fixes and quality of life improvements that were added to the game in the new update. First up, the PlayStation Store tab on the main menu actually works now, so you can remain in the game as you purchase stuff from the store. Now interestingly, if you go in there, into the in-game store, it shows four categories on the left. So there's contractors, there's contractor skins, weapon skins, and trinkets. So this to me means that those four things are what we'll be asked to pay real money for. So Gnosis, that there is no weapon category and there is no map category, which I think means that they will always be free when they add those things. And those are the two most important things to have free, well, as well as skills as well. But we already know with Nash that it seems like that's how they're going to do skills as well. They'll be free too. So I have no concerns about pay to win. I don't think you should have any concerns about it either. This kind of DLC kind of proved that. So another nice quality of life improvement is that you can actually see your teammates' levels above their heads in the lobby screen now. That's a very small thing, but it's also a very nice thing. It's not it's something like, like I never knew I wanted until I haven't, and now it's like, oh yeah, that should have been there from the beginning, or it would have been nice to have that from the beginning. Now you don't have to ask your teammates, say, hey, what level are you? Do you have this unlocked? Do you have that unlocked? You can just look over their heads, see what number they are, and you'll know. Now this patch also includes bug fixes and stuff like that, but as usual there are no detailed patch notes, so I can't go over what exactly those include. But let me know if you've noticed any fixes or quality of life improvements that I missed, I'm, there's bound to be some. Oh, actually as I'm editing this video I just remembered one that I completely left out. Uh, a nice fix that should have been there from the beginning, I think they wanted it there from the beginning but they couldn't for some reason. But it's that you can now hear your enemies when they're like banging their guns off objects. You'll actually be able to hear that before you could never hear us. So they've added that in this update, so I believe. So yeah, that's nice. That actually has gameplay implications, so that's kind of big. Anyway, that's it for this video, lads and ladies. Get out there and enjoy those sexy, moist new guns and twice the C4. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like the vid and want to see more firewall content and PS Viewer content in general, then please consider subscribing and doing all that usual moist shite. Bye for now, I'll see you guys in the next one.